Hello yet again my fellow Jetty users and this video is about creating voice alerts at very specific times of the timer. I had a message from Jimmy asking if there was some way of putting on a message at two minutes uh, to go before landing on a countdown timer with a message of something like start preparing to land. Uh, yep, there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, first of all, I wouldn't recommend necessarily doing it in exactly two minutes, because if you've got a standard countdown timer running with voice output, then it's going to be calling out two minutes and you don't want the system trying to conflict and missing a message. So you might want it at, say, 2.15 or 1.45, whatever, it doesn't matter. Now, uh, if you are absolutely certain that you want uh, a message at a particular time on every model you will ever have, what you could do is just do this once. If you have a look at my video about editing the timer configuration file, uh, then you can pull that off your transmitter edit it on your laptop and put it back onto the transmitter um, so that at a particular time, uh, let's say 130 seconds, just to avoid the 120 second mark, uh, it would speak a particular file that you type in the line there. But I say, beware, doing that, it's a global thing. It will happen on every model on which you run a countdown timer. But if it's something you definitely want, that's the fast way to do it. It's done once forever. What about if you want to do it specifically per model and maybe have different timings, maybe 1 minute 30 on one model and 3 minutes on another model? And What if you want messages after the timer has gone? Can we do it? Yes, we can. And it's not too difficult either. So first of all, let's set up a timer. And I'm going to create... Timer, I'll give it a label A, it's just easy to find in the future if you have multiple timers going. I'll give it an initial value of five minutes. And that's it. Uh, timer type standard. Normally I'd have a free running so that I can't accidentally switch it off. Um, do have a look at the video about timers for setting these up. Report type, again, normally I would have uh, voice and allow all. Um, but just to prove that what we're doing is not related to the, the usual countdown timer stuff going on, I'm going to leave that as none. Yeah, so it's not going to read out four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, etc. OK, so I've basically just set a five minute timer, which will run off the, the screen buttons. And there it is. And if I press the start button here, off it runs. If I press stop, it stops. If I press clear, it's cleared out. OK, so we've got our timer set. Right now, think about it. Five minutes uh, is five times 60 is 300 seconds. Now, that's sort of important. That's calculations got to be done in seconds. So let's go in to advanced properties. Sounds on event. Press the plus button. Switch. The switch is going to be a timer. So press the plus button here. Come to the bottom, timers. The only timer we've got is timer 01, which we named A. There we are. Now then, basically, what we're going to do is set a percentage of that total time of 300 seconds. And imagine the timer starts here at 100%. It runs down to here at 0% when it reaches zero times. And then as it starts counting up, after it's done, it's sort of final beep, 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 end of time. You've got percentages out here. And where would we like this warning? Well, uh, Jimmy asked for two minutes. As I say, we'll, we'll avoid the two minutes so that it doesn't conflict with the usual readouts. We'll go for, how about two minutes 15, which uh, has got to be a percentage of 300 seconds. Well, 10% is uh, 30 seconds. So two minutes would be four of those, 40%, uh, and another 15 seconds would be 5%. So we'll set the point to plus 45%, because that's two minutes 15 out of the five minutes. Now, normally, 
I see when you're selecting an input control here, press this button to select the point we have just dialed up. Yeah, but I don't know if it's a bug in this bit of the, the software in when you're selecting timers. That doesn't work. It just bounces you out back to there. Mm, not supposed to do that, is it? So let's select our 45 percent. And I'm going to press the programming dial, not this button here. But before we do, press Rev. There we go. So you've set your percentage. You've pressed Rev. There should be an X there. Now press the programming dial and we're out. Now Let's just go back in and make sure it has retained that 45%. Because if it hasn't, the thing's just not going to work and you're going to get very frustrated not understanding why. So let's press in. Yes, it has. It's retained 45%. So we can say OK to that. Choose our file, our sound file. Well, I went to Tero's, uh, to Tero Salmonen's website, rc-thoughts.com, into his text-to-speech and uh, made up a, a relevant file. And I'm about to whiz through the menu to get to it. If you're wondering how I get through these um, page down menus so fast, don't scroll down forwards like that. Do one click backwards, you get to the bottom. And at the bottom of the menu is next. Press the button. One scroll backward, press the button. One scroll backward, press the button. One scroll backward. So you can scroll down your menus very fast. And we should be about there. Uh, oh, start. There, start preparing to land, WAV. Press this button, we'll hear it. Start preparing to land. There we go. Now, I mentioned that the timer goes through the zero point. Uh, so zero time is zero percent, and then it goes into the negative percents on the timer. So let's just prove it. We'll add another sound on event into there. Timers. It's going to be timer 01 again. This time I want the switch on point to be 15 seconds after we've reached zero, which is 5%. So we've pushed the bar out this way this time. Remember, reverse it so you see an X. Press the programming dial. Let's go back in just to be sure it's retained that it has. And this time I'll select uh, a little sound clip from the film Top Gun. Childish, I know, but what the heck? Uh, we're doing this for fun, aren't we? Cougar, we've got to land this thing. We are way low on gas. You understand me? Remember at the start of the film where uh, one of the Tomcats, uh, the guy, pilots had a fright. He's kind of lost it. And his uh, nav or weapons guy in the back is saying, come on, we got to land this thing. How did I get that? Well, you just... Google for it. There's lots of websites have uh, .wav sound clips from the film, so I've got all sorts of good bits of fun on here. And that's it. So, what I'll do is start the timer running. Now, you don't want to sit here waiting till 2 minutes 15 comes up. So, what I'm going to do is just pause the video camera, and then we'll come back when we get near 2.15. So, due to the magic of technology, we'll see this number jump back in a moment. And we're back with it, getting ready for that message, which should come in at 2 minutes 15. Start preparing to land. Yee-haw, Grandma, it works. OK, what I'll do is pause again, and we'll come back just before uh, 15 seconds past the, the zero point. And hopefully the next message will work as well. OK, we're just coming up to the zero point in the countdown. Inactivity alarm. Oh dear. There we go. And right, it's gone past zero. And you've been a naughty boy. You've forgotten to come in and land. So the transmitter is about to remind you. Cougar, we've got to land this thing. We are way low on gas. You understand me? So there you are. You can set up uh, whatever voice files you like to be played at very specific points in time. Just a thought to bear in mind. Remember, the percentages were all based on the, the length of the original timer. So if you change the length of the original timer, 
the time at which your messages are read out is going to change because it's a fixed percentage. But if you vary the time, then obviously that uh, fixed percentage is going to be a, a bigger or smaller time, depending on what you do. Bye for now.